2023 presidency, Ipoh Bright Governor David Umahi over his anti-Biafra comments, the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra Ipo, as written to the governor of Ebony State, David Umahi, in response to a comment earlier credited to the 2023 presidential aspirant. Nigerian News recalled that Umahi had earlier described the continuous sit at home in the southeast over the detention of a battled Ipoh leader. Nam de Kano as senseless and useless. Speaking in an interview with some editors, Umai also said the agitation by the pro Biafra group is nonsense. The APC presidential aspirant stated categorically that even if Biafra is achieved, a Bonyi state would not be part of it. I pop as, however, replied to the sitting governor describing his comment as fallacious and laughable. The Biafra agitators in a communique made available to newsmen through its spokesperson, Emmanuel Powerful, mocked Umayi's submission, adding that his anti-Biafra movement will not grant him a presidential ticket. I pop said the governor is on a wild goose chase for the seat of the president of Nigeria and that the Fulani will not give him a ticket for the contest let alone allow him to become president of Nigeria. The statement reads, as usual, Umayi was ranting and calling the Igbos liars, calling IPOP family group liars and claiming that Fulani people were not killing or burning down properties belonging to Biafrans in Biafra land and anywhere in the country. The pro-Biafra group also told Umayi that this alleged sabotage Comment against Indibu and bodies that speak for them in order to secure APC presidential ticket will even make his chances slim because even the people who are influencing him to involve in alleged sabotaging activities will not trust him. They told the governor to stop wasting his time and money, hoping that he will secure the APC presidential ticket. Airport statement added. The attention of the global movement and family of the indigenous world Biafra, IPO, under the command and leadership of a great leader, Nam De Kano, has been drawn to the fallacious and laughable statement credited to the governor of Ebony State, the Umai. As usual, Umai was ranting and calling the Igbos liars, calling IPO family group liars. Well, what else can you expect from a man who does not know his actual roots? Such statements from a very insecure man do not surprise or bother us in the least because we know where he's coming from and where he's irrevitably heading to. Well, that is uh, IPOP replying to the comment of Mary. The alleging is making this comment because of his ambition. Is it truly because of his ambition? Well, many of the leaders in the East speak out of fear of the North as slaves which indeed they are to the north. You said it all. Umayi is suffering from amnesia. Only Umayi and family are not Biafra. See what is happening with Rocha Okorochas and EFC. Sooner it will happen to Umayi. For how long shall we continue in this state of disunity? There is no way the IPOP can listen to the governors of South East now, because when they were murdered and co-blooded by the Nigerian government, these governors kept quiet and they kept supporting the federal government. Well, what is your own opinion? Is it the time to disunite among the, to have disunity among themselves? Or this is the time to come together and find a lasting solution to the issues in the Southeast? Kindly make your comment known as you subscribe to my page. Thank you, good day, and God bless.